trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. That's what my daughter used to say. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Anyway, hi. Today's uh, video is going to be a trick or treat bag, but I am not going to be the one actually recording this video. I have a guest appearance. This is a collaboration and I am super excited about it, but I will wait for my host to give you all the details. So let me go grab her. I'm coming. I guess I'm supposed to do the intro. I don't do accents. I actually sound just like her. But if you're here, welcome to Jorgelina's channel. I am Cruella, and I will be showing you Jorgelina's trick or treat bags. Who better to do it than me, right? This is a collaboration with some lovely ladies, according to Jorgelina. These lovely ladies are Winnie from Winnie BLV. She's the mouth of the South. She has no intro. She has no outro. She's just that hoe. We also have Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture. Obviously, she loves couture, so I'm gonna love her. She probably loves me too, let's be honest. Um, Yota from Yota Style. I'm not sure if she's gonna be doing a video, but I watch everything she does anyway. She's fabulous. And Dee Dee from Dee Dee Bean. She has the Bean Beauties on her side, and of course, she's fabulous. So once you're done watching this video, I dare you to go and watch theirs. See what their ensemble looks like. See if they have any special guests. See if the special guests are as awesome as me. Let me know in the comments eventually what you find out. We are going to be talking about our trick or treat bags. What is a trick or treat bag? A treat bag is a bag that maybe we weren't necessarily expecting it to be as fabulous as it is. So it ended up being a treat. We were expecting it to be not so good, yet it was that good. A trick bag is the opposite of that, obviously. It's a bag that we were expecting to be amazing, and then it wasn't. <laughs> Oftentimes, that's just what you get. Anyway, I have gone through Jorgelina's collection, and I have picked two of each. Two trick bags, two treat bags. I will be bouncing back and forth, and then I have a bonus item that I want to talk about because it ended up being trash. Anyway, let's get started. The first trick bag, and a lot of people will not agree, but this is Jorgelina's pick. So it is the Speedy B in the size 25 in emprunt leather in black. Why was this a trick bag? Jorgelina loves everything about Speedies. Jorgelina loves Speedies in the bandolier style. Anyway, this bag, why was this a trick bag? Well, honestly, it's because if you notice here, it's terrible. It sags. It does not hold its structure. This is, I don't know if you can tell by the zipper, but it is fully stuffed, fully stuffed. And no matter what I do, it still dents in. I hate it. I love the bag. The bag is wonderful, but I just don't know if it's just going to look as nice, right? I've had this bag for a year. It's fully stuffed and I have an organizer in there. So there's nothing else I can do here. There's nothing else I can do for it to not lose its structure. And I don't understand why that's happening. I know that some people don't mind. Some people like the, the like softness, right? Like that's why there's a Speedy Soft. That's not my style. I want it to be structured. That's why I like the Speedy 4. So this for me, 
was a trick bag. I was expecting a nice structured doctor bag and I got a slouchy bag that I cannot wait until this ends up getting a crease in there so bad that it annoys me and I am no longer wanting to use it. I hope that doesn't happen. You can definitely see that here on the sides, how it's denting in, especially on this side, it's worse. So, trick bag. Mm. That was a trick. Let me offer you a treat. Which one was a treat bag? A bag that I was not expecting to like this much and yet I absolutely love. And that is this little cutie here, my double zip pochette. Holy moly. I like this more than Dalmatians. Mm -hmm. I love this one. I was expecting this to be like a wallet for me to use it like an SLG. I was never expecting to enjoy this bag as much as I do. I love this bag for travel. If it's all my passports on one side, a slim wallet on the other, or I can put cards in here if I wanted to. So it has uh, card slots. So if I didn't even wanna take a wallet. And then I know people don't like this pocket here um, in the middle, but I just stuff my tickets in there, like for my airplanes, just for easy access. Um, and I put, if when I'm ready to condense, right, I carry this around because it has a crossbody strap. So I carry this around crossbody all around the airport. And then when I'm ready, I just throw this in my bag and I can condense it and have less items. So I love this. This is something that I do not leave. If I am going to go on a plane, I'm bringing this with me. So I am bringing this with me because if it's everything that I need, especially for international when I need passports. So this was definitely a treat bag absolutely way more than I expected. I do not use it as an SLG like I thought I would. I absolutely use this as a bag and it's gotten way more used than I ever expected. So love the double zip. I also, I mean, bonus, I can wear it on this side. I have one bag. I can wear it on this on this side and it's a completely other bag. Um, I can switch the straps out. I can wear it with a chain. I can wear it without a chain. Sorry. A great bag a treat bag, my last trick bag. And this one is going to surprise my husband. Unfortunately, while we were in Vegas, it was actually for his birthday, we were in Vegas and we went to the flagship store. It was my first time at the flagship store in Vegas. I've always shopped in front, um, in like the other smaller boutiques in Vegas when we've gone. Um, so this was my first time at the flagship. This was the day this bag released. I absolutely, had to have it. I remember them being all around in the early 2000s when I was in high school and I just had to have it. And obviously I couldn't afford that kind of stuff when I was in high school. You know, all the nostalgia, all the um, old is coming back and being new, <laughs> all that stuff. It was coming back. I needed to have it. I love the strap, yada, yada, yada. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the vibe. Oh, this love and hate. I love the way this bag looks. Love it. Am I going to get rid of this bag? No, because I love it. I do like the way that it looks, but why was this a trick bag? This, these two pockets fit nothing. I put a hand sanitizer there. That's about it. They fit nothing. I can't, I can't even put my key pouch in there because it sticks out. So it doesn't, I mean, I can put my keys on their own, but I can't put my key pouch in here, uh, which I always carry with me. When I go to snap it closed, it doesn't. I know you can hear it, but it's not snapped. Look at it. So I have to actually mess with it to get it to snap. That's annoying. And the worst part of it all. All right, let me turn this bag around. Look at this flap. It fits my phone in here, which is awesome, and that's how I use it. But what is that? It is so weird looking. Like, why is it doing that? I don't like it at all. That part I don't like at all. I do still wear it, especially that lays against my body. So, right, nobody can see it, but I know it's there. And then this, I'm hoping the canvas ends up giving at some point, but it is such a stiff canvas. 
it fits nothing. It has such a big compartment, but like, I, I am I've been messing with it trying to get it to become a little bit more supple um, So it's like the complete opposite of the speedy. There's no suppleness. There's no give This is so structured here at the bottom that it hardly fits anything um, So it has a lot of space uh, But yeah, I can maximize that space because of how stiff it is. So redeeming qualities. I love the look absolutely love the look when i'm wearing it i've gotten compliments on it that's always a plus i do actually really really like the way that it hangs when i'm carrying it but for me comfort over everything right so i i will continue to use this but just not as much as i thought i thought this was going to be like a great carry for me that i would use all the time and that's why this is a trick they tricked me into buying something that i thought i would use all the time which one was the other bag that i wanted the speedy 20. So I didn't get the speedy 20, which I feel like I would have used a lot more because I went for this one. Another redeeming quality though, is the shoulder strap. So it does come with two straps. This strap I use so much. I love this strap. Um, so redeeming qualities because I wear the strap more than the bag. Um, I like using my strap with my mini bum bag. I'll show you right now how cute it looks. Um, but I also use it with my Felici, um, so that I don't have to wear a crossbody. So sometimes I like doing that. I can use it, um, basically with any bag that I want to wear shoulder, but I just love this look. I think that looks so cute. Um, you just throw it over your shoulder. It's so comfortable because of its thickness. You get the nice LV. I know I'm too short and I can't do this, but I don't have another angle here, but I love the strap. So that was a treat. So this is kind of like a double a treat and trick, but mostly a trick because I really thought I was going to be getting a lot more use out of the bag than I really am. So unfortunately, that is a trick bag. So my last treat bag, I don't think this would be a surprise if you know my collection, but I was really hesitant about getting this bag. My husband was hesitant about getting this bag. He really didn't think I needed it. He really didn't think I'd use it. When I travel, I like to take bags that are not luxury so I can shove under the airplane. Uh, but ever since I got this one, I just love to use it and I use it quite a bit. Um, anytime that I am not traveling but I need to carry a lot, this is what I bring to theme parks, to things like that. And it is my Palm Springs, the big one. A lot of people dislike this bag. Um, so I was hesitant because I thought I wasn't gonna like the straps. I thought that when I wore the straps, they were gonna look tacky. Um, and I, I don't know, maybe they do. Maybe you think they're tacky, but I love them. Uh, I have gotten so much use out of this bag. I know that this is one of those bags that I am going to wear to death. I have worn it. We do go to theme parks quite a bit, a few times a year. Uh, we have lots of theme parks closed, right? We have Legoland, Universal Studios, Disneyland, Not Very Farm, all the, you know, all those that then they do them um, over Halloween. You get Not Scary Farm, you get Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, so we do theme parks quite a bit. This is the perfect bag for that. So I love bringing this with me. Uh, it is carefree because it doesn't have any Vachetta, uh, Vachetta, Vachetta, not sure how you say it. <laughs> there's always that. I, I'm sure there's not a debate. There's a right way to say it. I just don't know what the right way is. But anyway, love this bag. Definitely, definitely a treat bag. I have used this bag more than one of my Neverfulls. Actually, I'm sure to say that because Neverfulls are still there. They will always be my favorite. <laughs> There's no debating. It's still my favorite, but this one does get more used. It gets so much used, and um, I just love this bag. It was definitely a treat. I did not think I was going to enjoy using it that much. It is so incredibly comfortable. I don't care what it looks like. <laughs> uh, I still think it looks... I mean, I do care. I think it looks fabulous. I don't think it looks tacky. I was expecting to maybe not enjoy the way it looked on me. A lot of the times I'm very critical of my body. Uh, I don't like my back. I don't like the way this looks when I'm carrying it like this. And you know, a, a handbag's always supposed to fit. I don't give a crap when I'm wearing this. You wanna look at my gigantic back? <laughs> it's helped me there. It's helped me with my self-esteem. I love carrying it. I don't care. I've taken pictures <laughs> wearing it of my back, which I hate. But anyway, I digress. This ended up being a treat.
It will never leave my collection. You can take that to the bank. I will wear this forever. So those are my two trick and treat bags. Uh, I can't wait to see Winnie's and Dawn's and Dee Dee's and see which ones they've picked. I know we have a completely incredibly different collection, so I cannot wait to see what they picked. But I have one bonus item that I thought was going to just be life changing. And unfortunately, it is not. Um, I don't even think I said the right word. I did not say unfortunately. I don't know what I said. But unfortunately, it's not. And this is not a handbag, but it does pain me to say. It is my agenda, I mm. I will open this and show you when's the last day that I used it. All right. So it pains me to say this because I have, and I, I did make a video that I use it every day. And I do. I mean, I did. Um, but I have to force myself to use it. I have to force myself to write small. I have to force myself to look at it when, in fact, I just want a giant agenda that I can uh, do everything on. And that ends up being a teacher agenda for me. I can plan my lessons. I can plan my YouTube. I can plan my life. I can plan my master's program all in one place. And I don't need a different planner for every single thing that I have to force myself to look at. Um, so I do like people that are able to do that. I envy people that are able to do that, that are able to compartmentalize everything and keep everything in its own lane. I can't do that. And that's because I need everything in one place. I need to see what I'm doing that day, whether it be for school, for YouTube, for work, for kids. I do all those things in one day. I need one place that shows all of it. I cannot compartmentalize myself, my day. I do dedicate time for every single thing. I need to have it in one place. And unfortunately, as much as I want it to be this, I would love it for it to be this. This is not enough space. Maybe I can fix that with a GM, but the GM is nearly $1,000. Do I want to spend $1,000 on an agenda when I can just get... <laughs> A $50 one? No, I don't want to. I just, you know, the one, my $50 one works great. And this year, bonus, I got it for free. Uh, I won uh, Texas Instruments, gifted it to me. So I've just been using that. I paid nothing for it. I still had to buy the inserts. But again, let me open it and tell you when's the last time I used this. So I still have the, I don't, I don't want to show a lot of this, but I still have my. July inserts in here. So it goes from July to December. And my today, but my today thingy is on, what is this? August 9th. August 9th. I had an appointment at the DMV on August 9th for my son. And I had to submit my summer hours on August 11th. Work started in, work started uh, middle, the week after. Uh, work started the week after and ever since then stopped using it just could not get myself to have one more thing to do add one more thing to my to-do list when I couldn't fit everything in it so it pains me to say it I'm still not gonna get rid of it I hope that maybe one day I have less on my plate and I could use this but for right now I mean it, it I've used it consistently uh, for a year because I, I think I got it last Christmas or the year before I got it the year before Christmas. So I've used it for almost two years. So I used it for a solid year and a half, right? If I went through August, a year and eight months, and I stopped using it then. Um, it just, it became too much when I had so much more added to my plate. I needed a place for YouTube. I needed a place for uh, the master's program. I needed a place for all that. So when you have a hectic lifestyle and you don't want a million agendas, it just doesn't work. It's just not big enough. So unfortunately, it ended up being a treat. Now it's a trick. It's a trick. <laughs> anyway, same, same, but different. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I 
I'm making myself laugh and probably no one understands what that is. If you do, let me know. If my sister's watching, I know for sure she understands what the heck I'm talking about. She is one of my favorite people in the world. Um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I am going to bring Jorgelina back because holy moly, it's hot in this. Look, it's still, you know, it's supposed to be fall, but here in California, it's not. And I had to turn off the AC so that you don't get any of that noise. And anyway, should I take some pictures like this? I hope that you enjoyed her and all her glory. I could never pull off that red lipstick. She is fabulous. Uh, I hope that you found this video entertaining. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to go back and watch the other awesome ladies uh, to see what their trick-or-treat bags are and see if you agree. Keep the conversation going in the comments and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye!